Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today in this tutorial um, I'll be teaching you guys how to set up the graphics for your YouTube channel. So it's going to be a two part series. The first part is teaching you how to make your logo or giving instructions though. and the second part is making your banner. So we're going to go to file new and we're going to make your concept logo. So any size will do. Like that. And we're going to start making your logo. So, really, you, for example, we're going to make a just a random, type in some random letters. So, using the font Xyroid, I'll leave it in the description. I've just made this really simple logo. J J O J O I don't know. Anyway, if there's a channel out there. I didn't mean to steal your name. I just typed in some random letters. So what I did is I created one letter, then I made another letter the same. Um, so yeah, that's what you need to do. So, we're going to make a very simple concept logo, for text concept logo. So, for example, instead of just getting an ordinary font, we're going to be customising your selected font, and I'll leave a link to some good fonts um, in the description that you can use for this. Um, so, yeah. So, what we need to do, we need to think of um, how you want your... Um, your whole your whole logo to look. Do you want it to look really sci-fi, etc. Things like that. Um, so yeah, we're going to start. So we're going to select a J here, and since it's next to this um, A here, that looks really good. So we're just going to make that in line using our um, arrow keys on our keyboard, and we're going to create a new layer. And this layer goes above the F. And I really like the way this goes all the way like this. So I'm going to zoom in. And then I'm going to grab our um, rectangle select tool and we're going to make that fill in like that. So let's fill that in. And there we go. So that's connected very nicely. And then I'm going to also add a spike to my J. Going down like that. Then holding command to make that um, an actual path. Then I'm going to go selection from path. Then I'm going to fill that again. Then I'm going to command shift A. Sorry for that, you want to create a new layer for that. So we'll deselecting and then we'll just move that into shape. Like so, and we'll do that again. And already that looks kind of cool and with this logo, it doesn't need to look amazing at the start. Um, that's where the whole the whole concept of the logo comes in. So that still doesn't look right. So I'm going to zoom back in, and basically your lo whole logo is trial and error. A to D select, and that looks really cool. So we've got the J and the A going here, and I'm just going to duplicate this spike here. Duplicate that spike, and I'm going to move it down here. Since we've got this attachment here, we can move that. Okay, the next step is I want to rotate it so the spike is coming there as well. So 
duplicate it. So I'm going to go to image, transform, um, rotate, oh, the layer, sorry, layer, transform, rotate that clockwise, 90 degrees. And um, since that is a bit bigger, we need to get our eraser tool. So erase that all. And we're going to simply zoom in again. And we're going to grab our pass tool. And we're going to go straight from here. Up. Down. And connecting, holding the command or control key on your keyboard. We're going to make a selection from that, fill that in and then desaw like that and just patch in some of the shading sorry, let me put that in there like so and again zooming out so already we've got some really cool shapes um, happening here so we've got the J and the A all nice and you have to think about this. This is I'm going for a very sci-fi look for this. Um, and you honestly do not need to go this this sci-fi-ish. This can be heaps less than this. Um, I'm just teaching the way I would think of creating my own concept logo. Like I'm not all into the whole spikes thing, but I know many people are, and this would look great as like a logo for a gaming channel, etc. So again, we're going to do the Y now, and we're going to create a new layer to put our, put our shapes. And I really like how um, the Y here, so yep, the Y here, um, the shape of the Y. So I'm going to extend the um, bottom line here of the Y using our rectangle tool in the corner here all the way long and down and then through the A like so fill this with work control shift A to deselect and then we're going to get our pass tool and you know what we're going to do keeping the whole spike theme we're going to oh that's a bit too long There we go, and we're just going to zoom in a bit more. So this whole process involves trial and error. Um, so after we've got this cool text going, I'll, um, we'll move on to creating our banner. And make sure you're happy with the shapes you make. Because if you're not happy, then it's not a good shape. Um, see how this looks. Okay, you can see that it doesn't quite link up, so I'm just going to zoom back in again and patch that up. Again, using the tool here. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that. So let's just put that like that, and I'm just going to move my Y here. Sorry, move the Y. Yeah, yeah, the Y. Oh my goodness. Trying to use the arrow keys here. 
there we go the Y into the A and the J here and with the Y I'm going to make a new layer just above it after selecting this put it under fill your salt edit sorry select grow and I'm going to go to the selection by one then fill it with white select grow or more just to see how it works and white magic day and there we go and I'll also do the same with this one with the attachment on just a so it follows now and again fill that with white and see how it splits here I don't really like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the eraser tool and erase away that white here there we go so now we're getting some really really cool shapes so I will just finish off with the um, O here and um, I'm not really happy with how it's O I'm going to change the letter I'm sure you guys can figure out something with the um, something with an O um, don't get to tweet me all your results oh that looks really cool um so I like how that curves up so what I'm gonna do now just for the last thing I'm just gonna create a new layer zoom in sorry for all that loud noise if you heard that where'd that go sorry um, we're going to make this. like so. We'll make a selection, fill again with black command shift A to deselect. And I already know from now that it's grey. Doesn't mean happiness. Um, for our logo here, just fill that in with black. Um, and also that grey. Is a nice for our logo. Either, so I'll just fill that in as well. And let's zoom out to see what our final. Oh my goodness, I'm so sick of all this zooming in. There we go, and here we have our really cool um, 2D concept text logo. Still doesn't look very good up there. I'll patch that up after the tutorial. And so yeah, so I hope you I taught you some cool techniques for creating your 2D concept logos. And the next tutorial will be using this logo or your selected logo to create a YouTube banner. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and I'll catch you in the next video.